Hi everybody, Bohush here for Photodeox Pro. And in this video, we're gonna address all these questions and comments you've sent our way. Uh, you guys have blown up our comment section on YouTube, which is great. Uh, the designers, the guys in the back room with the test tubes and the calipers, they don't usually get to hear this kind of feedback about stuff they've come up with. And to know that so many of you are this interested in the ND throttle is really exciting up here. We wanna thank you for being so excited. Some of you might be uh, a little too excited, but I can get it because there are a lot of questions still around. So let's talk about the ND throttle, let's get specific. The important thing is to think of the ND throttle as being for mirrorless cameras. We are looking at ways we could try to pull off the same effect with a DSLR, but just because of the optics and kind of the, the nature of the construction of this thing, right now think of it as being for mirrorless cameras. Now a number of you asked for electronic pass-through, that is to say, the camera being able to communicate with the lens, with the ND throttle in place. Now the thing is, once you've got the glass and the whole kind of turning mechanism built in, there's not a lot of real estate left for the, the pins that you need so that the camera and the lens can talk. But that doesn't mean it's impossible. So we're having the designers look at that for sure to see if there's a way to make sure that the lens and the camera can still chat. Now a number of you had an idea that would be very cool, uh, and I'd call it more of a coupler than an adapter. You want to take your current kind of lens camera combo and slip the ND throttle in between, so you get that rear variable ND effect. Now the problem there is the thickness of the ND throttle is going to change the optics, uh, the optical relationship between the lens and the camera, because uh, the focal flange distance is fixed. You know, you don't want to change that by adding in an adapter and you're gonna lose infinity focus and just basically, eh, it's not gonna work. Now, again, we've got some ideas on how to maybe pull this off, but for now, it's probably not a good thing to uh, hang your hat on. Now, a number of you asked for aperture control from this adapter, you know, as if the adapter weren't already doing enough for you. Uh, that is a cool idea. We do run into the same real estate problem as before. You know, we've got this moving piece here. You know, how do you get aperture control in there? Not impossible. Uh, our designers are kind of liking the looks of that challenge, but there's a way we can get you aperture control right now, depending on which lens you're using. The first concept you've got to get comfortable with is when you attach the ND throttle onto your NEX camera, you're effectively making it an EOS camera because the, the distance between this guy and the sensor is the same as in an EOS camera. That means you can attach another adapter on the front, an EOS adapter on the front. So let's take this one for example. This is a Nikon to EOS adapter and it has these blue tabs on it for aperture control. So let's just stack these guys. Okay, so we've got a whole stack going here. We've got the ND throttle in the back, then we've got this Nikon to EOS adapter and those blue tabs are your aperture control and there's our Nikon prime lens on the front. So there you go. And the important thing to realize, just to double check yourself, is um, these two adapters stacked together are the exact same height as our Nikon to NEX adapter. So you know that optically they're the same. Okay, so there you have it, the ND throttle from Visilex. It's available now, and as you can see, it gets even more versatile when you add our EOS adapters on the front. Uh, like we just showed you, you get aperture control of this great classic Nikon lens, and uh, it's all available right now. All you do is click down below this video, and uh, you'll see the order page for an ND throttle of your very own. Uh, just click over here to subscribe to get more videos just like this one. And we love that you guys got so involved. Uh, that's why we're gonna be working on a Micro Four Thirds version ASAP. Uh, we're gonna be working on a lot of the ideas that you shared with us. And we hope our next video comes out. We'd love to see all of you back here again. Uh, so make sure to subscribe so you'll know when we're back online with something new and exciting for you. My name is Bohush. Thanks for watching.